Hi, I'm Duran from Vibetronics. Today I'm going to show you how to install and program the Gate Guardian. Okay, to install the Gate Guardian, we're going to require a Gate Guardian, a small flat screwdriver, a small star screwdriver, side cutters, four cables to install the Gate Guardian into the Gate motor, and a SIM card. Let's open up the Gate Guardian. Okay, the Gate Guardian comes with a full instruction manual, but we're going to duplicate everything in this video. First, we need to install the SIM card into the Gate Guardian, so we use our small star screwdriver to open up the Gate Guardian. Install the SIM card with the chamfered edge on the bottom right hand corner. Just an additional note about the SIM card. If you're going to use a pay-as-you-go SIM card, please make sure that there's airtime on the SIM card when you are installing the, the Gate Guardian because you're going to require SMS feedback to your cell phone during the programming process. Another note, please make sure that the PIN code of the SIM card is deactivated or that it is four zeros, zero, 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 zero. Take note additionally that if you go to the pay-as-you-go SIM card and you do not recharge or add airtime to the SIM card within 90 days, some of the service providers in South Africa will reclaim the number of the SIM card. So in that case, we suggest that you go with a small contract, like a five rand a month SIM card contract for your Gate Guardian. Next, we're gonna install the power cable. Remember that the Gate Guardian is a DC device which means that it can only take from 9 volts DC to 28 volts DC as the power input. You cannot put AC into this device, it will destroy the device. For the power cable, the red cable goes into the positive terminal, the black cable goes into the negative terminal. Next, we're going to install the common cable. So I'm going to use a green cable and that goes into the common port of the Gate Guardian. This will in turn be installed into the safe common terminal of the Gate Motor. Lastly, I'm going to install the yellow cable, which is going to go into the normally open terminal or the NO terminal. And this is going to go, this is going to be in turn wired to the trigger terminal of the Gate Motor. Now all we need to do is close her up and install her into the gate. Now we're gonna wire the gate guardian into the gate motor. First one, we're gonna wire the normally open terminal to the trigger terminal of the gate motor. Then we're gonna wire the common terminal of the gate guardian to the common terminal of the gate motor. Now we're going to wire the power terminal of the gate guardian to the power terminal of the gate motor. So red goes to auxiliary 12 volt output and black goes to save common. The gate guardian will now be powering up. As you can see, the orange light will flash and the power light will flash. This means that the gate guardian is currently trying to find the network. If it comes back with a solid green light, it means that the network is strong. If it comes back with a flashing green light, it means that the network is weak. And if it comes back with a solid orange light, it means that there is no network. This is a good diagnosis for your installation while you're on site. As you can see, we have a solid green light, which means that we have good signal strength. So now we can start programming the Gate Guardian via SMS. Now, the first number that you want to program to the Gate Guardian. Open your phone up and go to SMS or Messages. The first SMS that you need to send to the Gate Guardian is the following. The default password for the Gate Guardian is dollar sign, Gate Guard, all in capitals. Then you type in comma, then add, comma, and now you type in your number and send the SMS. 
what will happen now is the gate guardian will receive this SMS and save your, this number into the first available slot on the gate guardian. If there's airtime available on the SIM card, it will send you a return SMS to say that you've been loaded into user one, as we can see there. Now, if I try to phone, if I miscall this gate motor, the gate motor will open. Let's test that. To add an additional user, just type in add, comma, and the number of the additional user. This will then add this number to the next available slot, which will be index 2, and the gate guard will send you an SMS back to tell you that you've been added into that position. Remember the default password is gate guard. If you want to change the password, all you type in is pwd, comma, the original password, which was gate guard, in capitals, comma, and then you type in the new password. And you just send SMS. This will now change the password. If you wish to see the numbers that have been programmed into the Gate Guardian, you type in the following SMS, L-I-S-T, which is list, followed by a question mark. You send this to the Gate Guardian. And you can see, we've got two users programmed into the Gate Guardian. Now, while you're on site, this is great for any installation technicians or if you're a homeowner and you're installing the device yourself. This gives you some great diagnosis if you type in the following command. Info, followed by a question mark. This will request all the information pertaining to the Gate Guardian, like signal strength, software version, and the mode of the relay. As you can see, now we've got the Gate Guardian with its serial number. The signal strength from 0 to 32, ours is 8, which means it's actually quite a low signal strength. The software version number, which is version 1.10. The output mode of the device, which is impulse, which is ideally what you'd like to use for gate motors. The user, the, the user not locked command just basically means that we have not locked the Gate Guardian for additional users. Finally, we can see that the voltage of the gate guardian is sitting at 12.4 volts and that your reminder is sent to 60 days. The reminder sends you an SMS on day 60 to tell you to recharge your SIM card. This is in case you have a pay-as-you-go SIM card and you don't want to lose the number back to the service provider. If you'd like to check what available airtime you have left in the device, you type in USSD, question mark, comma, star, one, three, six. And this is used by South African service providers. As you can see, I have 25 Rand left on this particular side. Now your gate guardian is programmed correctly. If you wish to lock users, you just type in lock users send that, the gate guardian will give you a reply. So this tells you if you send the command once more, you will permanently lock the users. This cannot be done undone by SMS. You can only use this, undo this by using the desktop application. So make sure that when you leave site, if you do want to lock users, that all the users have been programmed into your gate guardian beforehand.